Hey everyone, welcome to a new video. Today's class is a feel good vinyasa flow, so we'll be working on stretching the full body with a nice long shavasana at the end. So we'll get started right away in our class by finding a comfortable seated position. You could be cross-legged or sitting on the ankles here. Go ahead and close down the eyes. And finding a cleansing breath here, so exhaling where you are. Big inhale through the nose. Hold the breath at the top. And then exhale out through the mouth. Let it go. We'll find two more breaths just like that. So taking a big inhale through the nose. Open the mouth, exhale it out. One more breath, make it your deepest and fullest inhale yet. And then open the mouth, big audible sigh out. Feel your body soften and relax. Letting go of anything in this present moment that no longer serves you. And setting the intention to practice today with a fresh, clean slate. So with your eyes still closed, Silently repeat this mantra to yourself. I am aligned with peace, harmony, and abundance. I am aligned with peace, harmony, and abundance. I am aligned with peace, harmony, and and abundance. Taking a few moments to allow those words to settle. Notice any shifts or changes in how you feel. Go ahead and take two more breaths here. And then when you're ready, gently blink the eyes open. Maybe find a smile. As you inhale, reach both arms up overhead. As you exhale, plant the left hand down, reach the right arm up and over, finding a side body stretch. Really pressing into that left palm, grounding down through both sit bones here. And then start to find circles with the shoulder joints. Just moving in whichever direction feels most comfortable. Just starting to open up the chest, the shoulder. Keep breathing here. Then find stillness, lift both arms up overhead, plant the right hand down and reach that left arm up and over, side body stretch on the left side, press into the right palm, and then start to find circles here. Staying grounded through the sit bones, feeling the stretch along the left side ribs. Reach the left arm up and over, and then reach the right arm up, palms come to touch. Interlace the fingers and wrap them around the base of the skull, drawing the chin to the chest. Try to keep the upper back straight here, only rounding through the neck. Gently draw the left ear to the left shoulder, and lift the right elbow up towards the sky. Switch, drawing the right ear to the right shoulder, lifting the left elbow up. 
and switching over to the left side and then over to the right. Coming back to center, drawing the chin to the chest and then open the arms, releasing the hands to either side. Start to find a few neck rolls here, moving at your own pace, moving slowly and mindfully. Bringing your awareness back to your breath. Breathing in and out through the nose. Releasing any last bit of tension or tightness here. Bring the neck back to a neutral position. Reach the arms up. And then bend the elbows. Open the arms for cactus. Big inhale. As you exhale, round through the spine. Wrap the right arm over the left, giving yourself a hug. Inhale to open the chest, bend the elbows. Exhale, wrap the left arm over the right arm this time, giving yourself a hug. Inhale, open the chest. And exhale, round through the spine. Inhale, open the heart. And exhale, wrap the arms. Inhale to open the chest here. And then exhale, release the hands to either side. Coming onto hands and knees, coming into a tabletop position. So traditionally the joints are stacked here, but we're going to move the wrists slightly in front. And then we're also going to move the knees slightly wider than hip width distance apart here. Starting to find a few spinal waves. So as you inhale, shift your body weight forward, shoulders come past the wrists, up the belly, lift the gaze as you would in cow pose. As you exhale, sink the hips towards the heels, round through the spine, coming forward. Bring the shoulders past the wrists, lift the gaze, and then send the hips back down, coming through a child pose variation. Shifting your weight forward, rounding through the spine, drawing the shoulder blades apart. Bring the hips down as you lift the gaze. Draw the belly down, sink the hips back. So move through this a few more times at your own pace, just finding whatever feels good. Not worrying too much about what this looks like on the outside, just really trying to find movements that feel nourishing and supportive. So we're going to switch the direction of our spinal waves here. And this might feel a little funny at first if this is new to you, but coming on to the forearms, lifting the belly and then rounding through the spine as you sink the hips down towards the heels, coming through child's pose. Again, coming on to the forearms, bringing the shoulders past the wrists, and then rounding through the spine. Find what feels good here. And then from here, bring the knees back together, tuck the toes. We're going to find a toe stretch. So resting the hips on the heels, go ahead and place the hands on top of the thighs. Close the eyes for a moment. If this is too intense for you, you can keep the hands placed on the mat. Coming back to your breath and coming back to the mantra that we set at the beginning of class. I am aligned with peace harmony, and abundance. Take one more breath here. In through the nose and out through the nose. Gently open the eyes, plant the hands in front of you, untuck the toes, and tap the feet against the mat bringing blood flow back into the feet. 
Coming into our tabletop variation, extend the right leg behind you and start to shift your body weight forward and backward. So getting a stretch along the back of the right leg, the calf, the hamstrings. Come back to stillness. Kickstand that left leg so that you're facing the long ways of your mat. Coming onto the left palm, reach that right arm up, coming into gate pose. Big inhale. As you exhale, draw the right bicep to ear, getting a big side body stretch. Good. Lift that right foot up. Keep the left arm extended as you inhale. And then exhale, draw the elbow to the knee. Inhale, extend. Exhale, draw the elbow to the knee. Inhale, extend. Exhale, elbow to knee. Inhale to extend, holding here or option to bend that top leg and reach that right hand for the top of the foot, finding a gentle heart opener. Good, gently release, planting the right hand down, keeping the right leg lifted. Hug the right knee into the chest and then step the right foot forward at the top of the mat, coming into a low lunge, keeping the fingertips planted here. Lift the gaze. Straighten out the right leg for half splits. Inhale, lift the gaze, bend into the right knee, low lunge. Exhale, straighten out the right leg, half splits. Inhale, press into that right foot, lift the gaze, low lunge. Exhale, straighten out the right leg, sink the hips back, half splits. Inhale to come through a low lunge and then plant the palms down. Step the right knee back to meet the left knee. Come onto your chest and chin. And then slide your way into a baby cobra. Option to find upward facing dog, pressing into the palms to lift the kneecaps. Come back onto the knees, coming into a tabletop pose. Switching sides here, so extend the left leg behind you, tucking the back toes and shifting forwards and backwards, getting a stretch in the back of that left calf. From here, kickstand that right leg so you're facing the left side of your mat. Plant the right hand down, reach the left arm up, and then draw the left arm to the left ear, getting a nice side body stretch. Maybe lifting your chest open towards the sky. And then lift that left leg up, take a big inhale. As you exhale, draw the elbow to the knee. Inhale to extend, exhale, elbow to knee. Inhale, extend. Exhale, elbow to knee. Inhale, extend, hold here, or option to bend that top leg, reaching that left hand for the top of the foot. Open your heart. Good, gently release, planting that left hand back down, keeping that left leg extended. And then hug the left knee into the chest, step it forward, low lunge, coming onto the fingertips. Exhale, fold forward, half splits. Inhale, lift the gaze. Exhale, half splits. Inhale for low lunge. Exhale, strain out the left leg. Inhale, coming through low lunge, plant the hands down. Step that left knee back to meet the right knee. Drop onto the chest and the chin. Slide your way into baby cobra or upward facing dog. Your choice with the back bend. This time tuck the toes, find downward facing dog. Spread all 10 fingers nice and wide. Pedal out through the feet so straighten out the left leg and bend the right knee. Maybe gazing underneath the left armpit. And then straighten out the right leg, bend the left knee, gaze underneath the right arm. And pedal out the feet a few more times here on your own. 
and then straighten both legs draw the heels down towards the ground gaze up at the top of the mat step or jump inhale to halfway lift finding a flat back exhale to fold finding ragdoll pose bringing hands to opposite elbows gently rocking from side to side you can have the knees bent here or you can keep them straight for a hamstring stretch just make sure the weight is even between the heels and the balls of the feet you can shake the head no nod the head yes releasing any tension in the neck just allow the upper body to hang completely heavy Finding one more breath here. And then release the arms, bend the knees even more, round through the spine. Very slowly, vertebrae by vertebrae, you're going to lift yourself up. So moving very slowly, keeping the arms and head and neck still heavy until you come all the way up to standing. Roll the shoulders up and back. Allow the palms to face forward, finding mountain pose, Tadasana. Grounding down through the feet, bring the hands to heart center here. And then inhale, reach the arms up overhead, find a slight back bend, opening your heart. As you exhale, hinge from the hips, forward fold. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, step it back to plank, moving through Chaturanga. Inhale, upward facing dog. Exhale, downward facing dog. So we're going to play around with our balance here in Adho Mukha Shavasana. You're going to press into the left palm and then reach that right arm back so that it's in line with the right hip. Choosing to stay here or you can turn the right toes in slightly and then lift the left leg up. So you're pressing down into the left palm and into the right foot. Choosing to stay here, or if you want to take it a step further, you can see if you can bend that left knee and reach that right hand for the top of the left foot. Keep the breath steady. Good. And then when you're ready, gently release, bringing the left foot back down and the right arm back down. Switching sides here, so pressing into the right palm. Left arm extends back. And then from here, you can turn the left toes in slightly to lift the right leg up. And maybe you're just on the right toes here and that's perfectly okay. Just play around with this. Embrace the wobbles. And then option to bend that right knee and reach that left hand for the top of the right foot, kicking the foot into the hands. Good. Gently release, coming back to downward facing dog. Awesome job. From here, inhale high in the toes, shift into plank pose. Exhale, lower all the way down to the belly. Inhale for baby cobra, lifting the heart. Exhale, release the forehead to the mat. Bring the fingers to the outer edges of the mat, elbows pointed up. Press into the fingers to lift yourself up for cobra. Exhale, drop the right ear and right shoulder to the mat. Inhale for cobra. Exhale, drop the left ear and the left shoulder to the mat. Inhale for cobra, gazing over the left shoulder. Exhale, drop the right shoulder, drop the right ear down. Inhale for cobra, gazing over the right shoulder, drop the left shoulder and left ear down. Inhale to center. And then exhale, lower all the way down. Press the palms, sink the hips back, coming into child's pose. Taking a breath here. And then coming back up, tucking the toes, finding downward facing dog. 
Moving into our main sequence now. Inhale to lift the right leg for three-legged dog. Bend the right knee, drawing that right heel to the glutes. Option to stay here or to flip your dog to find wild thing. Bringing the right toes down, lifting the heart. And then come back to center, pressing into the right hand. Lift the right leg, three-legged dog. Step the right foot forward at the top of the mat. Reach the arms up for high lunge, Anjane Asana. Exhale, eagle arms. Left arm comes underneath and around the right arm, pressing the palms and fingers together. And then open the hips for warrior two, extending the arms, facing the long ways of your mat. Inhale here. Exhale, sink the hips a little bit deeper. And then inhale, straighten out the right leg, reach the arms up overhead, palms come to touch. Exhale, warrior two. Inhale, straighten the right leg, palms touch. Exhale, warrior two. One more time, straighten out the right leg, palms touch. Exhale, warrior two. Flip the front palm, reverse warrior. Left hand comes to the back leg, side body stretch. Big inhale. Exhale. Inhale, extended side angle, so right elbow comes on top of the right knee. Reach that left arm up and over as you exhale. Inhale, plant the left hand down, coming into a twist. Reach that right arm up. Gaze down at your left hand. Press into the right foot to come up into a high lunge twist. Inhale, reach that right arm up, facing the front of the mat, coming into a high lunge. Bring hands to heart center. Press into the right foot. Lifting that left leg, coming into warrior three. So finding a T-shape with your body. Hands are at heart center. Trying to keep the hips even here. And then swing that left leg forward. Lifting your upper body. Placing the left ankle on top of the right knee. So coming into pigeon chair pose variation. Sink the hips down. Hands are still at heart center. Feel the stretch in the left hip. Breathe here. And then slowly uncross that left leg. You're going to twist, bringing that left leg behind the right, coming onto the outer edge of the left foot. Sink the hips down, coming into a seated twist. Reach both arms up overhead. Inhale here. As you exhale, twist. So the left elbow is going to come to the outer edge of the right knee, gazing over the right shoulder. Good. Come back through center. We're going to find Gomukhasana. So the knees are going to be stacked here. If you need to find half Gomukhasana, you can extend that bottom leg so that it's straight out in front of you. But allow that right knee to be directly on top of the left knee. Placing the hands on top of the feet. Go ahead and close your eyes here. Taking a moment to feel the sensations in your body, feel the stretch in the hip joint. Option to stay still here, or maybe start to find a few circles in the hip joint, moving in one direction and then the opposite. Find stillness. Gently open your eyes, uncross the legs, bringing the soles of your feet on the mat, feet hip width distance apart, and just drop the knees to either side, resetting the low back, and then cross the ankles, plant the hands down, option to jump back to chaturanga, or step back, inhale for your back bends. Exhale, downward facing dog. Inhale to lift the left leg, three-legged dog. Bend the knee, open the hip. 
Stay here or option to flip your dog. Placing the left foot down, reaching that arm up and over, opening your heart, lifting the hips, finding wild thing. Coming back through center, planting the left hand, lifting that left leg up, three-legged dog. Step the left foot forward, high lunge, reach both arms up. Exhale, eagle arms, so right arm will come underneath and around the left. Big inhale. Exhale, open the hips, warrior two, extending the arms alongside. Gazing over the front fingers, big inhale. Exhale, sink the hips down. Inhale, palms touch overhead, straighten the left leg. Exhale, warrior two. Inhale. Palms touch, straighten the leg. Exhale, warrior two. Once more, inhale, palms touch overhead, straighten the leg. Exhale, warrior two. Flip that front palm, reverse warrior. Extended side angle, left elbow on top of the left knee, right bicep to ear. Plant that right hand down, spinning onto the back toes for a twist. The left arm comes up. Gaze down at your right hand, press into the left foot to come into a high lunge twist. Inhale the left arm up for a high lunge, gazing at the top of the mat. Bring hands to heart center as you press into that left foot to come into warrior three, so lifting the right leg up. Body is in a T shape. Hips parallel. Strong through that left standing leg and then float that right leg through, crossing it on top of the left thigh, sinking the hips down, coming into your pigeon chair pose. Draw the low belly in towards the spine, feel a stretch in the right hip. Relax the shoulders. Straightening out, uncrossing the right leg, then bringing the right leg behind the left, coming onto the right outer edge of the foot. Sinking down onto the right knee and then lowering the hips all the way down. So the left leg should be crossed over the right. Both arms reach up as you inhale. As you exhale, twist. Right elbow comes to the outer edge of the left knee. Gaze over the left shoulder. Good, come back to center, finding Gomukhasana. The left knee will be on top of the right knee this time. Again, find whatever variation works best for you so you can extend that right leg straight. Bringing the hands on top of the feet. Closing the eyes. Choosing to stay here in stillness. Or maybe shifting, finding circles in the hips. And again, not worrying too much about what this pose looks like on the outside. Really just finding whatever feels good. And if you've chosen to find movement here, be sure to switch directions. Coming back to a neutral spine, gently uncross the legs, bringing the soles of the feet on the mats, dropping the knees to either side. And then crossing the ankles, planting the hands in front of you, step or jump back to Chaturanga. Inhale for your back bends. And exhale, downward facing dog. From here, inhale high in the toes, shift into plank, and exhale lower all the way down to the belly. Bring your forehead to the mat. We'll find one Shalabhasana here. So interlace the fingers behind the low back, drawing the palms together, finding a fist. 
and then lift the head and neck and lift the feet, pointing the toes and drawing the big toes together. Breathing here, reaching the fist for the back of the mat. Three, two, and one. Gently release the arms, release the legs, rest on the left side of your face. Breathing deep into the low belly. Bring the chin on top of the mat. We'll find two variations of bow pose. So bend the knees here, flex the feet. Reach the hands for the outer edges of the ankles. So the soles of the feet are going to face the sky. So for this first variation, we're going to keep the knees and thighs on the ground and we're just going to lift the chest. So inhale to lift the chest, kick the ankles into the hands, keeping the knees down. Feel the stretch in the shoulders and the deltoids. One more breath. Gently release, resting your right ear on the mat, releasing the feet down, releasing the arms alongside the body. Taking one more breath here before moving into our next variation. So bring the chin on top of the mat, bend the knees, flex the feet, reach the hands for the ankles. If you'd like to take a different variation, you can reach the hands for the inside of the ankles here and that'll just get a different stretch in the shoulders. As you inhale, go ahead and lift the chest and then lift the knees. So really kick the ankles into the hands Draw the shoulder blades together, so finding a retraction here. Lifting the knees, kick the feet up, breathe into the chest. One more breath. And slowly release, bringing hands underneath the shoulders. Finding child's pose, big toes touch, knees can be together or apart. Rest your forehead on the mat. Reconnecting to your breath. Reconnecting to your intention. Slowly come up out of child's pose. You can cross the ankles and come to lay all the way down onto your back. So allow the spine to rest on the mat. From here, hug the knees into the chest, giving yourself a hug, maybe rock from side to side to release any tension in the low back. And then bring the hands on top of the knees and start to find circles in the knees. So bring the knees forward and then out and away from each other, opening up the hips and then draw the knees together, up, out and away together towards the chest, up, out, and away. Together towards the chest, up, out, and away. And then switch directions here. So draw the knees in towards the chest, open them out and away, and then draw them together. Again, not worrying if you're doing it right or wrong, just finding what feels good in your own body. Good. Release the soles of the feet down to the mat. Allow the feet to be hip width distance apart. Allow the arms to rest alongside the body. Press into the palms here and then lift the hips up coming into bridge pose. Squeezing the inner thighs together, reach the arms up overhead. Big inhale. As you exhale, sink the hips down, release the arms. Inhale, at the same time reach the arms up and lift the hips. Exhale, sink the hips down, release the arms. Inhale, arms come up, hips come up. Exhale, release. 
Inhale, lift up. Exhale, release. This time we'll come into a static bridge pose. So pressing the palms into the mat, lift the hips, press into the feet, shimmy the shoulders underneath, maybe interlacing fingers, coming into a fist, pressing the fist into the ground to lift the hips even more, maybe coming up onto the toes, lifting the heels, tucking the chin into the chest. Energetically squeezing the thighs together, big breath in, and then exhale, release the hips down, hugging the knees into the chest, giving yourself another hug. And then keeping the right knee hugged into the chest, extend the left leg, using your right hand to draw the right knee open towards the right side, getting a stretch in that right hip. Resting the left hand on top of the left thigh. Take a deep inhale here. And then as you exhale, twist the right knee across the body, allowing the right knee to rest on the left side. Gazing over the right shoulder, left hand on top of the right knee. Untwist, coming back to center. Bring the left sole of the foot on the ground, so bending the left knee. Straighten out the right leg, finding a gentle hamstring stretch. So bringing the hands behind the back of the right calf or the ankle. And then crossing the right ankle on top of the left knee, coming into a supine pigeon pose. Option to stay here, or you can lift that left foot up, getting a deeper stretch as you draw both knees in towards your body. Wrapping the fingers around the back of the left thigh or the shin. And then gently release both feet back down. Hug the left knee into the chest and extend the right leg. Use your left hand to open the left knee, getting a stretch in the left hip. Take a big inhale. And then as you exhale, Draw the left knee across the body over towards the right side to get a gentle twist. Gazing over the left shoulder, right hand rests on top of the left knee. Draw both shoulder blades down towards the ground. Untwist, hugging the left knee in. Bend the right knee, bring the right sole of the foot down. Straighten out the left leg for a hamstring stretch. Grabbing a hold of the back of the ankle or the calf. And then cross the left ankle on top of the right thigh, close towards the right knee. Finding supine pigeon. Option to stay here, keeping that right foot planted. Or you can lift that right foot up. Interlacing the fingers behind the back of the right shin or the thigh, hugging the knees in. Soften the face, let go of any tension. When you're ready, you can bring that right foot down if you took that variation. Hug the knees into the chest for one last hug. And then release the feet. Lift yourself up on the forearms. We're going to come into fish pose to open the chest one last time and to get a heart opener. So extend the legs straight out in front of you. Allow the elbows to be underneath the shoulders, fingers facing the front. Go ahead and drop the head and neck if that feels comfortable for you. Pressing into the forearms to lift the chest so sternum reaches up towards the sky. And 
One more breath here. As you slowly come back up, draw the chin to the chest, bend the knees, and come back down onto your spine. We're going to move into shoulder stand. So pressing into the palms, hug the knees into the chest, and then use your core to lift the legs up bringing your hands to support your low back. So the hips should be stacked above the shoulders here. Chin tucked into the chest. Keep squeezing the legs together, pointing the toes, shimmying the shoulders underneath. Option to stay here or you can move into plow pose. So the toes are going to come behind the head, keeping the legs straight. If the legs are bent here, keep the hands underneath the low back for support. If the legs are straight, you can interlace the fingers here. And then option to bend the knees, coming into ear pressure pose. Bringing the hands behind the low back, rounding through the spine. And wherever you are, whenever you're ready, you can slowly bring the feet back down, bending the knees, extending the legs long, resting the arms alongside the body. Finding a cleansing breath here. Take a big inhale through the nose. Open the mouth, let it out. Feel your body completely soften. Letting go of any tension. Feel your mind relax. Taking a moment here before coming into our final resting pose to come back to our mantra. I am aligned with peace, harmony, and abundance. I am aligned with peace, harmony, and abundance. I am aligned with peace, harmony, and abundance. Allow yourself to rest here in Shavasana and I will call you back when it's time.
I am aligned with peace, harmony, and abundance. I am aligned with peace, harmony, and abundance. Slowly start to deepen your breath. Finding small movements in the fingers and the toes. Inspiring movement back into the body. Maybe reaching the arms up overhead. Pointing the toes. Taking your time when you're ready, rolling onto one side of the body. And then pressing yourself up into a seated position. Taking a moment here for yourself. As always, finding gratitude for making time to come onto your mat. Making time to move and to feel good. Repeating this mantra once to yourself. I am aligned with peace, harmony, and abundance. Bring the hands to heart center. Finding gratitude for each other. Thank you for joining me in this feel-good vinyasa yoga flow. We'll bring the thumb to the third eye, the space between the eyebrows. Together we'll bow our heads. Namaste. I hope you have an amazing rest of your day. And I'll see you in the next class soon.